Hi there. Today I want to talk about a four-part manga series that I just finished reading, and that is Doubt by Yoshiki Tanagi. Um, I have here the two omnibus editions, and each one contains two volumes. So this is omnibus one, contains volume one and two, and omnibus two, which contains volumes three and four. And um, Doubt is basically a story about five kids, about student, uh, like high school student age, that play a very popular Japanese cell phone game called Rabbit Doubt. Now this game is something where everybody is a rabbit except for one hidden wolf amongst them and nobody knows who that is except for the wolf themselves. The wolf's job is sort of create um, dissension and doubt amongst the rabbits and the rabbit's job is to unmask the wolf before they are all killed off. And these five kids decide that they want to kind of get together and meet in person. So the story opens up with Yukun, our main character, and I'll show you an image of him here. He's this fellow right here. He's sitting in a park waiting for these uh, other four people to show up when suddenly his friend Matsuki shows up and that is this girl right here. And uh, eventually she ends up kind of joining the group. She has not played the game as far as we know. She just joins the group and um, ends up having a party with them. They kind of just get to know each other kind of thing and they're all having a good time until they all are kind of knocked unconscious. Now when Yukun wakes up, he finds himself in an abandoned warehouse, not knowing how he got there. And there's a dead body hanging from a wall in front of him. Uh, it seems the game has now become real, and he and his recently um, met friends are all trapped in this building. They all discover strange, mysterious barcodes tattooed on their body, and you'll come to discover what those are about as the story progresses. Uh, the story is basically what you call a locked room mystery, and you, each twist and turn you never know who the true wolf may be. Uh, this is it's not, in terms of the writing, it, it was good, but it, there's like a, not a whole lot of writing. I will say there is, you know, a few words here and there on each page, but for the most part there is just a lot of visual images, so dialogue-wise it's pretty pretty quick and short, but that didn't deter in any way from the story. It's got a definite creepiness feel to it, um, picturing yourself kind of in that kind of a building and it's dark, it's uh, locked doors and, you know, some killer on the loose. Could it even be someone other than them? You don't know until the very bitter end of, like, book two. Um, this one ends on a really good cliff note, which made me want to pick up book two right away. And it, it begins right from the moment book one ends and I think about... I'm going to guesstimate, it was probably about this far, after reading this much into book two, that it looks like the wolf is about to be revealed. And there was a little bit of an annoying factor there, where it's sort of like they dragged it out for like, oh, probably about ten pages, where our, our main character's like, no, it can't be you, but how? It's like, that kind of a thing. It's like, and you're like, wait, and they go they're around the corner, and you're like, no, come on, just who is it? And... Even though this person is unmasked, it's it's still not who you think it is. It the story continues. I'm thinking, how can they? You know, like they couldn't possibly reveal a killer that quick. They don't. You are strung along uh, to the bitter end, and it was a surprise to me who this ends up being. And it was just a delightful, creepy, uh, dark mystery. Uh, it gets a bit gruesome, like I said, in terms of the deaths and how, what happens to the kids, but. Not super, well, not super gory. Slightly gory. Let's call it slightly gory. This is uh, geared for older teens. Um, the artwork is just amazing. Um, the covers alone just really grab your attention. I mean, I, I saw that and I thought that is super cool. What's with the rabbit heads? You know, I had to find out more. You see, like, the barcode kind of included in there, stamped in blood. Uh, there's a couple color pages in the front and stuff. Um, this is shows that all the kids kind of unmasked. And... Again, with the masks, you might notice they're all kind of strung up as well. Creepy. Uh, and then even right in the very beginning of book one, they kind of um, describe a little bit in terms of like this little cartoony kind of image what the rabbit game is about. And uh, the black and white images are equally compelling. I just thought they did a really, the artists did a really good job of capturing each and every character. There's depth to them, there are surprises about each character that's going to pull you into this story. So um, I definitely recommend Doubt, get these in the right direction, Doubt the manga series. This is the complete series within these two volumes. 
some uh, one of my subscribers had commented that there was another follow-up series to it. It doesn't really continue with the same characters, but it is by the same um, artist. I forgot what you call the manga creator, um, but it is that same kind of like a locked room mystery type. So that must be like this person's specialty, uh, and that is entitled Judge. This is the first volume of it. I don't think it's a bind up in any way. There's like four volumes out already. So these might be the individual volumes and maybe later on they'll come out with a bind up, but they're pretty substantial size in and of their own. So I just went ahead and picked this one up. Um, this one says, Envy, Lust, Sloth, Wrath, Gluttony, Pride, and Greed. A group of sinners who bear the guilt of the seven deadly sins has been gathered in an old courthouse to face judgment. To leave this place alive, they must offer up a sacrifice, one of their number. As the trial begins, who will the gavel fall on first? So again, that same kind of, you know, everyone's out for themselves and just a definitely really cool mystery. So again, I highly recommend Doubt and I gave five stars to each one of these on Goodreads. Hope you decided to give it a try and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.